It is 5 a.m. Good morning and welcome to News 13 New This Morning. I'm Mike Powers. We have reached Monday, September 26th. And all the day's big stories coming up in just a moment, including the firing of Mike Loxley at UNM. But we start the week with the weather blitz. And meteorologist Kristen Van Dyke. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Nice and cool this morning. 63 degrees right now. The winds are calm. A nice calm start. And it's going to be another mild day today for the metro. Temperatures on the warm side. Not quite though, not quite as hot though as what we had yesterday. 67 as we head toward the 9 o'clock hour. And you can see a lot of sunshine through lunchtime and into the afternoon. 77 as you head out to lunch and then 86 this afternoon. No rain to talk about here. And we'll be hard pressed to see that at all across the state today. A little chilly up to the north. 36 in Alamosa. 37 in Taos. We're in the low to 40s up in the four corners down to the southeast mild there in the low 60s and we're going to climb up well above average into the mid to upper 90s in the southeast mid 80s for us here in the metro then upper 70s up in the northern mountains so above average day things clear out there right now we'll see the chance for a few showers in the northeast and rain chances going up across northern and western new mexico over the next couple of days i'll break it down for you coming up the end of an era a brief era here now is the morning news blitz the University of New Mexico has fired head football coach Mike Loxley. The announcement came yesterday. Full coverage on this still developing story is less than one minute away. One person was killed and three others seriously injured last night in a car crash. It happened shortly before 8 o'clock at Broadway and Woodward in southwest Albuquerque. Albuquerque police tell us the car rolled over, but they haven't said it yet exactly what caused it. Albuquerque police have released the name of the person found shot to death behind the city's downtown public library Saturday morning. He's 16-year-old Ismael Ochoa, 19-year-old Carlos Lee, and 18-year-old Andrew Edwards were both arrested and charged with the murder. The United Nations Security Council will take its first look today at a Palestinian bid for statehood recognition. Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas submitted the request Friday despite objections from the U.S. and its allies. It's expected to take weeks or months before the Security Council takes any action. And Wall Street is coming off its worst week since the depths of the financial crisis three years ago. And if Asian markets are any indication, the jitters over Europe's debt crisis and the possibility of a global recession continue. And those are the Monday headlines.